Hi there, namaste, and welcome back to another yoga class. This is Spiritualistic. My name is Colleen, and tonight we're going to be doing a yoga nidra yin class. So this will be nice and gentle. It's meant to help you release all your energy from the day and wind you down, preparing your body for a good night's rest. So I'd like to thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank yourself for being here and showing up and practicing, and I will see you on the mat. <laughs> so I'd actually like to begin today's practice with a mild heart opening sound tuning. So this will just help you get in the zone. Close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths and center your energy. Taking a deep breath, open your eyes, and you can lay down on your back, on your mat. I will meet you in this position. <sighs> lay down on your back, your palms facing upwards. Gently, very gently imprint the small of your back into the mat. And you can keep your knees bent or straight, whatever's more comfortable for you. Gently take your right knee and bring it in towards your chest. We'll do some circles, going outward very gently. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Place your right foot down on the mat and grab your left knee, pulling it closer to your chest. And some circles. Three. And two. And one. Beautiful. When you're done, put your left foot on your mat and you can keep both of your knees bent. Roll your knees over to the right. And maintaining that small imprint of the lower back, roll your knees through the center to the left side. Beautiful. We'll do this two more times each side, listening to your body, being gentle, rolling your hips, your knees to the right.
and to the left. Last time, rolling to the right. And to the left. Beautiful. Now straighten both of your legs on the mat. And take your right knee back to your chest. Finding a supine twist, wrapping that right leg, crossing over the left, and looking to the right. Keep your spine straight. Really decompress. And we'll hold this just for a little while. Focusing on your breath. Beautiful. Now rolling your right knee back towards your chest, laying flat on your back. Go ahead and switch legs, straightening your right leg and bringing your left knee to your chest. Grabbing it with the right hand and pulling it left knee over your body to the right side. Looking over your left shoulder for supine twist. Keeping your spine straight and relaxing, releasing. And just breathe. <laughs>
beautiful. Now rolling onto your back, straightening out, bringing your left knee to your chest. Straighten your leg onto the floor, laying down on your back, releasing that small of the back, gently pressing it into the mat. Bringing your right leg up back towards your chest. Grab the outside of your foot if it's available to you and just straighten towards the sky. If you wanna pull your leg towards your face, you can do that. If you want to grab your calf or your shin and do a 45 degree angle, you can also do that. Just honor your body and release extra tension today. And focus on your breath. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Letting your shoulders sink into the mat, getting that extra inch of space in your legs. beautiful bringing that right leg down either straight or bent however best serves you switching legs gently imprinting your lower spine into the mat grabbing the outsides of your left foot or your shin calf whatever's available to you today comfortably Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Letting gravity draw your shoulder blades into the ground.
finding that extra inch of stretch in your hamstrings and your calf. Bringing attention back to your breath, inhale. And exhale. Amazing. Go ahead and bring your left leg back down, straight onto the mat, and gently with love, roll onto your belly. And take a gentle sphinx here. Maybe use your toes. Push. Really opening up in your chest, your collarbone, your armpits. Looking up at the sky. Elongating the tailbone. Creating space in the solar plexus. Opening, rounding out the heart. Lengthening the neck. Feeling the jade palace, your skull, your pineal gland. Opening up the crown of your head. If you'd like to include in your practice today, you can gently push yourself up to Cobra can keep your arms out in front of you for comfort, for openness. You can walk your hands closer to your body for a little more stretch in the spine. Whatever serves your body today. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Releasing your glute muscles. Releasing your shoulders. Releasing your neck and your jaw. Inhale. And exhale. And come back down to your belly. And gently push yourself back to passive child's pose today. Keeping your knees together, sitting back on your heels, and let your arms come behind your back. Resting palms open on your the soles of your feet. Release your hips. Release your knees. Release your ankles. Feel length in the spine. Elongate your lower back. Decompressing your sciatic nerve. that SI joint. Draw attention to your tailbone. All the way up your spine, feeling each vertebrae.
Beautiful. Drawing your attention back to your body. Gently lift yourself up. And push yourself forward back onto your belly. Opening up your hips into a wide triangle. Or frog pose. Put your feet and heels together. Knees open. Stretch your adductors, your hip flexors. Release the glutes. Put your hands in front of one or the other. And lay down, resting your forehead on your hands, releasing those hips. Opening up the front of your hips, feeling length in the pelvis. Releasing those glutes, not letting your SI joint compress. Draw awareness to the tailbone and draw this awareness all the way up your spine to your head, staying straight in your vertebrae. If you feel a bit of tightness or you'd like to gain an extra inch here, you can gently put your fingers underneath your rib cage Find the top of your hip flexor and push. This will give you an extra inch here. And on the other side, press your fingers underneath the rib cage until you find that top of the hip flexor there. And you should release about an extra inch there. Beautiful. And focus on your breath. Again, releasing those hamstrings, releasing the knees,
Relaxing your ankles. Really relaxing the glutes and the lower spine. Beautiful. Straighten your legs. Gently push yourself up. And come back to active child's pose with your knees open, your arms in front of you this time. We won't hold this one as long. Just get that other stretch in those adductors. Let the rest of the energy flow out the inside of your leg. Focusing on the point between your eyebrows, your third eye, and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Walking your hands back towards you. Coming up to a nice seated position. Sit all the way up on your sits bones and straighten your legs out in front of you. Beautiful. Bend in your right leg towards the front this time. Sitting up straight. Choose to flex or point the foot, but choose to stick to your decision you make today. And from here, slowly come down over your leg. Beautiful. Now walk back up your leg. Switch legs. Whichever decision you made, pointed or flexed, do the same on your right leg. Bringing your left leg in just to the inside again. And bending over your right leg. Keeping a straight spine and focusing on your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale.
inhale and exhale Walking your hands back up your leg. To come back to a seated position. If it's in your practice, gently pull your right foot up into the left hip crease, pressing your right knee down just a little bit for half lotus. You can also just do butterfly here giving yourself some gentle, open space. Uncrossing your right leg and switching legs, drawing your left foot into your right hip crease, gently pressing the knee down. Inhale. Uncrossing your leg. Straightening your legs. Slowly rolling onto your back. For Savasana. Connecting your pinky fingers with your thumb. Connecting yourself with the water element. Gently pressing your lower back into the mat. Maybe bouncing your toes up and down a couple times to release some of the tension out of the sciatic nerve. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale.
Take eight to ten more deep breaths in your savasana, focusing on the point between your eyebrows, your pineal gland, your third eye chakra. Feel yourself melting into the mat. Smile with the corners of your mouth. <laughs> Smile with your eyebrows. When you're ready, slowly draw your attention back towards your body, drawing awareness from the crown of your head down your vertebrae, all the way down to your tailbone, wiggling your fingers and your toes, maybe rolling out the wrists and the ankles. Gently roll onto your right side for a fetal position uh, and since we're cozy push yourself back up to your seated position if you would like now is an amazing time to focus on some breath work, pranayama, or meditation. I will leave you here to continue your practice or get a good night's rest. I hope you have the sweetest of dreams. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. And namaste. Om Bhur Bhuva Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bargo Devasyani Mahi Dio Yona Prachodayat Namaste Hari Om